New to Photoshop? Want to learn how to use the type tool? In today's video, I'm going to show you all you need to know in order to get started with the type tool in Photoshop. Coming up. Hey everybody, this is Charles Cabrera, helping you get started with photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom. If you're new to this channel and you like short and easy tutorials, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Let's get started. So first, we're going to add or place text on this photo. If you type T, that's the shortcut for the type tool. And you come over here and right click on the type tool icon. You can see you have the horizontal and vertical type tool. We're going to use the horizontal type tool. And there's a couple ways that you can actually add type to a photo. And if you want to add like a paragraph, all you need to do is drag a box. And you could see that Photoshop added some default text. And I've already got some text copied and I'm going to copy it right there and paste it into that box. And to accept this text into the box, you can say command enter or you could come up here to this checkbox. Notice here that Photoshop has created a text layer in the layers panel over here. Another way that you can add text with the text tool selected is just click in your document or your photo. We're going to type in cruise ship terminal and come up here and click on this check mark and see we now we have two layers here in our layer panel. We're going to come back to the paragraph. I'm going to add another text layer here. Just click and I'm going to say Long Beach Pier 5. Click on the checkbox. So now in order to select the text, come up here to the move tool. So the auto select, that should be checked because if you want to edit a certain line of text, you just click on it and it automatically selects the layer in the layers panel. So in this case, I selected cruise ship terminal and with the move tool, if I double click there, I am, I've selected the entire text. If I want to select anywhere inside of that layer, I click on the text tool and I can just put my cursor anywhere in there and move it around. I can also go from the first character and just Hold my mouse down and I'm, I can select it all that way too. So that's how you would select text within that text layer. So for right now, I'm going to turn off this paragraph. So now we're going to go over how to actually edit the text. If I want to edit text, I can hit V for the move tool. Click on my text that I want to edit. And right up here on the options bar there, you can toggle your text orientation. You can see that that made a vertical text. And if I'm on the text tool and I toggle that back. It's put it back to a horizontal text. So that's your text orientation. So now if we want to change the font, like for instance, if I click on the V for the move tool, click on my double click on my text and you have all these fonts here that you can actually, first of all, filter by, you can filter by all the Adobe fonts. Those are all your creative cloud fonts. Uh, if you've favored, like I have a star next to this text here, you can favor them and you can just filter by similar fonts too. And if you come over here to more from Adobe fonts, click on that, a browser window comes up and you can use your Creative Cloud Adobe fonts to find more fonts that you want and activate them. So I'm going to double click on this Long Beach Pier 5 and come up here to the fonts. And you can see as I move over the fonts, it changes here. You can kind of get a preview of, of how it looks, all these different fonts. Uh, just for now, I'm going to choose Helvetica New as a font. And I'm going to come over here to the other line of text, choose Helvetica New. And now I've changed the font of both these lines of text. And continuing with the options here, you can choose different um, weights of the font. Uh, I'm going to change this to thin. And here you can increase your font, decrease it. And just by dragging, you can see that the font has gotten bigger. Sharp is has to do with the 
smoothness of the edges of the font. You have the different settings here for that and you just usually keep it on sharp. Here you have your alignment tools, whether you want your left align, center or right align. In here you can change your font color. Just click there, choose the color you like and say okay. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to move this up here, come back to T for my font menu. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit further. V for the move tool, move it and T for the text tool because I'm going to show you now what this is. This has to do with, uh, you can warp the text. You have this menu of all the options. Arc, we'll do something like this. And if I move this somewhere over here, over the terminal there. So that's what create warp text does. And you have all these other options that you can do. This option here is you can toggle the character and paragraph panels. If I click on that, here is your character and paragraph panels. We'll go over this in a minute. If I want to work a little bit more on the resizing, I can double click on this text down here. I come up here to the font size. I can select it to higher font here. I can also drag along the right and left, right along the, the font text right here and hit the check mark to commit. If I double click on the move tool and click show transform controls, I can hold shift and grab this end right here and resize it like this too. And click the check mark to commit that and uncheck show transform controls so you don't see that no more. So that's a few ways to actually resize the text. I can resize just one character. If I click T for the text tool and come over here and just select say the number five, I can come up here to where the options are and slide this to the left and slide this to the right and increase my one character at a time. And if I want to move this text around, all I have to do is V for the move tool. And if I make sure auto select is checked and the option right here says layer. And if I want to just move this cruise ship terminal, I just click on that and move that around just like that. I can come over here and click on this layer. And because I have the auto select checked, it highlights the right text layer in the layers panel. So I can move this around. And if I want to change color on one of these particular layers of text, say I want to change Long Beach Pier 5, double click on that and come up here and click, here's my color picker. And say I want to make that red, click OK, click the check mark. And that's how you change color of the text. And you can also change color of one character, T for the text tool, just select that particular character. You can come up here and change it to whatever color you want. Say okay, click on the checkbox, and we've changed the color of just one character. Now we've been resizing text. So in order to rotate this text, if you hit V for the move tool, come up here to where it says show transform controls. When you hold the cursor right on the edge, it's a two-sided arrow, and you can just hold down and it rotates your text just like that. And of course click show transform controls again so that you don't see the, those handles on there. Up until now, when we hit the T for the type tool, you can see in the options menu bar up here, we had several options that we can change the font, change font size. So now there's another option that we can use and it's called the character window. So up here at the top, there's this icon on the menu, on the options menu bar. You click that and up pops a window called character and paragraph. And that same option could be over here on this right menu bar. If you come up here to window, say you don't see that over there, you come up here to character and character styles and, and put a check mark by both of those. And then it's gonna show up over here. So there's the character and there's the paragraph menus. So the character window has several options to format characters. There's just a lot more options here. I'm gonna change this text down here, this Long Beach Pier 5. I'm gonna hit T for the text tool and put the Pier 5 on a line below. V to use the move tool. I'm just gonna move it up just like this. And if I select all that text by double clicking on it with the move tool selected, I can use these alignment tools. So if I wanna center that text, it would look like that left justify, right justify. So if I say center, click on the checkbox. So that's how I'd use the alignment tools. So again, V for the move tool, double click on the text 
and those options are available. So the character window, if I click on that, you can see I have the same options up here. I can change my font and I think I'm going to change this text here to bold. So I have that option and here I can also change my font just like I could up above on the options panel. And I can also change my font color here just like on the options panel. So let's go through some of these options. So right here, you're able to customize the kern. That's the space between specific characters. You can either select the metrics or the optical. So a lot of times that isn't used that much. So I'm going to put that on zero. What we're really interested in is the tracking. So the tracking is going to set the spacing between the characters. So right now I have the Long Beach Pier 5 selected. And if I adjust the tracking, you can see that the space between the characters changes. So that's helpful. Not so much this kerning here. I just left that at zero. Next we have the horizontal and vertical scaling. So here we have the vertical scaling and you can see that the letters are getting taller, shorter, horizontal scaling. It's spreading out everything. It scales horizontally the, the whole text. Next we have something called baseline shift. You just see how this is shifting this text. It's very useful when you want to make your text layer fit somewhere such as around an image. So you use this baseline. And up here you have something called letting. So that adjusts the space between words. So when I put that pier 5 below Long Beach, here I'm spacing that text a little bit further down. So that's letting. So next we have faux bold. Uh, it's not, this is Photoshop's uh, version of bolding. Uh, this Helvetica new had a bold weight already built to the, into the font, but this is like Photoshop's bold that you can apply right here. And you can see it, it made it a little bolder, a little bit different than the actual bold that Helvetica new came with. And there's the italic, same thing. It's, it's a faux italic. And here, if this was all lower case, it could have made it all uppercase, small caps. And these are different scripts. And this is subscript, and this is superscript. You have an underline, and you have a strike through. So you have all these options here. So those are all the character options. Now we can come over to paragraph, and I have this paragraph here. And here we have all the different alignment tools. Just like any word processing program, you can go through all these and choose which one to align for your paragraph. Also, you have option here, same as the point text that we were using before. You can, you can rotate this text. You can grab these and resize. You can see it, it sizes to whatever text you have in there. You can use the character, like the letting, and I put space in between my lines just like that. So now let me ask you something. What do you think of the type tool? Do you think it's easy to use? Let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you want more short tutorials on Photoshop, see the ones above. And remember, it's never too late to learn. See you in the next video.